Hey guys, it's Lindley here, and today I'm going to help everyone, I guess. So, um, lots and lots of people ask how I make, or how Girl Dear Studios makes so many good videos, and first of all, Allie, she's always like, um, I don't really know, but, so we've kind of, we made a video a year ago now, and it was, um, 10 video making tips, but I, I don't know, it's kind of, not many people watched it because we didn't have any subscribers back then. But so today I'm going to give you a huge tip video on video making and getting lots of subscribers. So here we go. Alright guys, so this is what I use to make my videos. First of all, I use the... I just got a... Oh, um, PowerShot SD1100 IS Digital Elf from Canon. So um, you can look that all up. But it's just a little digital camera. It's actually the older version. They have a newer version, but it's only compatible with Mac software. So um, I recommend getting the older one if you can. Canon cameras are really great. This one was definitely not expensive. I think it was only um, $100 or $150. I got it for Christmas. So if the, well, Christmas is in, what, like six months? I don't know, five? Um, or if your birthday's coming up and you're looking for a camera, I think that you should definitely ask for one of these because it's a good one. Um, next, for laptops, I I just edit on and use my, um, I have a PC, it's HP Pavilion laptop, but that's not what matters. What matters is I just use um, Windows Live Movie Makers. It's not very special, it's just, I like it, it's good, it's easy to use. Um, I just don't think you need that fancy of an editing system unless you're looking to do lots of special effects. But uh, Windows Movie Live Movie Maker, it's free, and it's very easy, it's not a, it's, a trustworthy download so if you have a PC uh, that is I believe you have to have um, Windows Vista to get it or higher but yeah so it's really good and I don't if you have a Mac and you use iMovie that's fantastic but I don't think you really need a Mac to make good videos okay next thing to edit my um, most of my backgrounds lots of people ask this one they um well first of all I use normal picnic I don't use picnic premium I just use average picnic although I really want picnic premium um, I take my pictures with my camera and then in order to put a bunch of pictures together I just use Windows Paint it's very easy it's on all PC computers just dig around for it and you'll find it and yeah you just put all your pictures in you can crop them and it's very good but I don't know what to use if you have a Mac but you can use picnic collage too alright so next I have um, just a couple little things that I've learned to gain popularity um, so, a lot of people ask, how do I get good uh, popularity and make good videos? Well, I'm going to give you 10 video making tips in a bit. I've already made the same tips in a video before, but um, I think I should redo it. So, um, first of all, i just like to say, first of all, make a catchy looking channel. So, um, you should get a brightly colored icon, I would say, and make sure it's like a picture you've taken or one that you can use permission that someone's taken of your AG dolls or something like that. Because I know that I always go to click on cool looking um, icons, often ones that almost make dolls look like they're real people. I don't know, those just catch my eye, like your doll standing in their room or your doll relaxing on the beach. Just something cool like that always pops for me. And then really colorful and bright. Or good photography. Um, then also make a background image that's exciting and um, make colorful videos. Like, you notice my videos are often shot in my doll room. And one thing that's good about it is there's a green and pink wall, very bright. There's a colorful bedspread, little dolly things. So that often, the little, um, the video shots that you see, the little picture beside them, that often catches people's eyes. So I think that if you have a bright image like that, people will click on your video. Um, let's see, okay, other things you can do to kind of, I don't know, gain popularity in a way, is make sure to make videos often, but don't sacrifice quality for quantity because make sure your videos are good quality so if you can only make them once a week that's fine but try and make them at least I would say once every two weeks with your dolls another thing is um, I know that a lot of people and no offense to people who do do this but a lot of people say I will only put this out if I get a thousand subscribers I really don't recommend doing that because I know sometimes I get a little sick of people doing that I think Ugh, now I have to wait. And it's almost like a bribe, so I don't really recommend doing things like that. Um, and then another thing you can do, it really is just make friends. Like, make friends with people on YouTube, get friendships, and put yourself out there, and just kind of make sure to have people with you on the way. And then another thing you can do is comment on lots of videos. Don't comment saying, go to my channel, but just put yourself out there and 
make sure people see you all the time so you can write lots of channel comments just complimenting people and things and make sure to be nice and don't cause drama all right now i'm gonna make a crash course video of 10 video making tips and there's a much better one with lots of examples in the um around the video and in the uh, little box thingy underbar so here we go my good old 10 video making tips um, number one lighting is key so make sure to make your lighting um, make sure to make your videos really bright daylight is good for pictures like right now I'm using daylight but sometimes you can add in um, like light bulbs too like I have my light on in my room just make sure your videos are really bright so that people don't not understand what you're doing and everything and use bright colors too that kind of adds to lighting just like I said before, bright colors. <laughs> Next is the um, costumes and hair are very important. So as you can see, my dolls are always wearing, and watch for fashion tips with Kate, that should be very soon. Um, they're always wearing matching outfits that are bright and colorful. They are always have their hair done. It's just good to have neat, clean looking dolls because when people have messy dolls that are wearing underwear in most of their videos, I tend, I don't know, that bothers me and I don't tend to watch them as often. So yeah, just make sure your dolls are very presentable. Next up is clean, sensible settings are neat, a must. So, um, sorry I wrote this weirdly, but try and make your videos in, like I said, a bright, colorful setting, but don't make it too crazy. Like, don't film it in front of, I don't know, a really gray, boring area with lots of garbage laying around or toys or clothes. Just try and find a clear space, like right up against a colorful wall, like so. Just don't do it against, I don't know, something that you wouldn't find very pretty, I guess you could say. Um, like clutter. Next is avoid long and unactive scenes, like um, scenes where the conversation just goes on and on and on and on and on, because people will tend to leave your video after that, I know I do. Um, so just try and make your dolls moving around as much as you can and changing, because even if you have a lot to talk about, as long as they're moving around, it's just a lot more interesting. Next up is study the camera, and this is part of stop motions too. Try not to make your videos moving around a lot, like this is very annoying, I guess. If you hold your camera still, it's much easier to watch, and plus in stop motions, you don't want it to be like this. So, uh, study the camera, put it on a box, on a tripod, on anything works. Or even just rest on your knee like I am. Next is talk really loud, so people can hear you and understand you, and they don't have to turn their volume way up, unless you can't, but... Talk loud and be exciting in your voice. Don't be like, well, I guess uh, this is my video. No, be like, this is my video, and I'm very excited for you guys to see it, and I hope you watch it, because I put time into making this, and yes, so watch my video, please. Like that. <laughs> Next is try and keep your hands and feet out of the pictures as much as you can, because we want there to be an illusion that the doll is really alive and talking, so you don't want to kind of, just when you're moving them, try not to show your hand like this. It's better if you grab by the ankles if you're showing the top half. Or, you know, just make sure to grab them in a way. Or when you're turning their head, kind of cut the top half of their head out. I guess I saw, you could see my finger there. But just try not to show your hands. <laughs> Alright, next is have everything that you're going to need close to you. So if um, Lindley needs, I don't know, the... This is a good example right here. If she needs the iPod, make sure to keep it, like, right on the floor beside you so you can grab it right away. Don't if keep it like way, I don't know, somewhere, and then you go, oh crap, where is it? Um, found it. No, you don't want to do that, so keep everything you need close to you. This one is kind of links to number four. It is um, move around your settings. So try and keep your video, or try and make your dolls go in lots of different places for your video, but make sure that it still makes sense. Like don't, if your dolls are outside, really take them outside. Don't just put some fake grass down and be like, oh, my dolls are outside, unless it's winter. But, um, yeah, so just try and use lots of different exciting settings to keep the video exciting. And finally, uh, this video is a good example. Rehearse before, because then you'll know what you're saying and you don't stutter like I did throughout this video, but I'm making it really quick because my mom has to pick me up. But, um, yeah, so rehearse first. Like, I wrote a script. I don't often write scripts with my videos, but, yeah. Which brings me to another thing. Just people ask me, do I write scripts for my videos? No, not usually, not even for movies. For movies, um, I usually write a plan out of what's going to happen, but I don't write what the dolls are going to say. And that's for everything. Most things just comes right out of our heads. So that's how me and Cassie work together, or worked together. I'm still not sure about that. But, um, yeah, you just you don't need a script unless you think you need it. And I just wrote this down a long time ago and thought I would use it, and there's a stupid drawing. But, yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope this helped everyone.